Barnet Football Club should be over the moon. They're riding high in the league, set for promotion, and pulling in the punters. Yet, in the past few days, their manager has resigned, both the Inland Revenue and the police have been knocking at their door, and their flamboyant former chairman, Stan Flashman, has gone into hiding. He's always been a hard man to get an answer from anyway. Who are you, please? Faint and greasy. Right, well, you... So why has Barnet become London's most controversial football club? ago when they won promotion to the Football League, Barnet was a semi-professional side, lucky if 300 people turned out to watch them. Today they're on the verge of success, promotion to the second division of the Football League and regularly watched by bigger crowds than Premier League Wimbledon. But behind the scenes the club is being torn apart by bitter disputes. Stan, are you sure? Stan, it's World War Three now. For a All month, right. the London I'll programme's I'll cameras have been behind the scenes, following the ups and downs of a All club right, which generates it. unusual passion. Ever since I've become manager at Dunstable 16 years ago, I've had this burning ambition to get a, to get a um, non-league club into the league. And now when I've done that, that's my heaven. And in the one and a half years I've been in the league with Barnet, it's turned out to be my hell. Barry Fry's despair has been widely echoed at Barnet during the last few turbulent weeks. We don't like it to be thought of as a laughing stock because it's not like that. It's a lovely club. Well, the football's been good, if not better, but behind the scenes, it's, it's uh, very disillusioning. We, we are a very unique football club in this division. We play really good football, and it is a growing club. And now, uh, I just don't think. Really, there is a future in there now. Hello, Lynn. All right, right, three cats tomorrow night. The man at the heart of the turmoil is the club's chairman, 21 Stone Stan Flashman. Self-styled king of the ticket touts, he has a special aversion to the press. Bye-bye. Steve Ball, a local reporter, last encountered Flashman at a professional footballers association meeting. And I went to cover the, uh, the meeting where the uh, PFA were negotiating with Stan about the players' wages because there were allegations that there had been uh, shortfalls. And Stan just sort of came, out, came up out of nowhere. I, I just saw a blur in, from, in the corner of my eye. And he grabbed me, pushed me up against the wall. Um, and then he sort of stood back from me as if he was about to punch me. He, he didn't, thank God, because I think like, if, I'd have been, if I'd have been punched by him, it would have been uh, quite nasty. Um, and then he just sort of stood there spluttering. Then he grabbed my bag that was on the floor and sort of marched off with it and went to the door of the, of the uh, country club where the meeting was taking place and just ch chucked it out through the door into the car park. Stan is no fan of the club's supporters either. Well, the supporters don't matter as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they just pay their entrance fee. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care whether they come to Barnet or if they don't. Yet he hasn't been slow to take advantage of the loyalty of the club's supporters and staff, including the manager of 14 years. I took a second mortgage out on my house, 12 and a half grand, uh, to release the covenant on the clubhouse so that that would get us income in. Um, after five years I had a testimonial and George Best played for me and I give all my testimonial monies away uh, to the players that was owed six, seven and eight weeks. I got arrested one Christmas night, driving a tractor, trying to flatten the pitch for the Boxing Day game with Wildstone. In spite of this kind of commitment, Barry too has found himself on the wrong end of Stan's temper. He's been sacked six times and even assaulted. But the worst fight we've had is when he came in after the Blackpool game. We'd played Blackpool in the first uh, leg playoff last year and the lads had done tremendous. We hit the bar, we hit the post, we won one nil but it could have been three, four or five nil. We've really deserved it. And I'm saying brilliant lads, well done, you couldn't have given anything more. And then the door comes off its hinges and a fat man comes in and he starts saying you load of rubbish, I'm getting rid of all you lot and all this and all that. 
So, of course, I tell him, he don't know what he's talking about again. He's done our goal line from a clothesline, line. And then he says, well, you're sacked because you're useless as well. So then I called him a cheat, really, and, you know, he'd nicked me testimonial money. So, I, I, you know, I, I had a right go at him and he came at me and to hit me and missed and I got him on the throat and 20 players jumped, jumped on us and split us apart. Yet when the club's financial difficulties first brought Stan Flashman to Barnet in 1985, everyone greeted him as the club's saviour. It's fair to say eight, nine years ago when he came into the club, he saved the club from liquidation. There was no other person in Barnet willing to come in. At that time when he come in, it uh, had gates of 300. Um, and it's fair to say he's worked very hard and um, put a lot of his own money in earlier on, in particular, to, to make it the club it is now. If Stan Flashman had sorted out the club's finances, most people would have been prepared to put up with his temper and his eccentricity. However, recently it's become clear that Stan hasn't been taking care of business in the way that supporters hope. Today, the club is at risk of being expelled from the league or wound up. On March 25th, the latest in a series of disputes with the Football League, the game's governing authority, came to a head. Who fucking wrote that? The Football League has given Barnett a deadline. By 5pm today, the club has to sort out irregularities in the players' contracts or face severe penalties. Only Stan Flashman has the authority to resolve the problem, but he hasn't found any time to deal with the matter since last November. At 4pm, Barry Fry takes a call from Helen Flashman, the chairman's wife and company secretary. So what, what, what's happening with the contracts, you know? Nothing. Mm. How did uh, Stan go on at the hospital? You're joking. A bloody stroke. At the club, there's some suspicion that Stan's illness is tactical rather than medical. An hour after the deadline, only two of the disputed six contracts have arrived at the Football League's headquarters. Barnett could now face expulsion from the league. I don't know what I believe anymore. Um, what's my name? Yeah. Basil Brush. This might have been excused as a simple administrative bungle, but Barnett's players have also had to get used to some extraordinary financial shenanigans. The team faced one of the most testing games of the season on the following Saturday against league leaders Cardiff, three points ahead of them. Normally they would travel to an important game like this on the day before the match, so that they can relax. But it's up to the chairman to provide the cash. Unfortunately, Stan has been struck down by that mysterious illness. I spoke to the chairman. He's ill, he's got to go to hospital today. Um, <laughs> so he, no, it's the truth. It's truth. But he, he wants us to leave on Saturday at 10 o'clock to go to Cardiff. Now, he, oh, think, he thinks it's an hour and a half down the road, but I phoned the coach for him and they said it's at least three and a half hours. So I think Saturday morning is terrible. The problem is, obviously, he won't pay for the overnight on a Friday. So... We'll pay for it ourselves, mate. We've got two pounds. Oh, we've got to go Friday, mate. It's a big, uh, big game. Anybody else pay for it themselves? Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We wish they had the beach. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got enough for one room, and we'll all bunk in that room, eh? <laughs>